everyone. Welcome to Beauty School Bobby brought to you by L'Oreal Access and Lead. I am so excited to have one of my favorite people here with me today. This is Katie Talent. Katie is, we're finally addressing her as her official last name. She was Katie Hill to me forever, still Katie Hill in my phone. So you all know her probably as Makeup by Katie Hill. Yes. Has that been changed to talent yet? Absolutely not. Okay, so on Instagram, at Makeup by Katie Hill. So you know her <laughs> as Katie Hill, so we're just gonna go with that. We literally just changed her paycheck like um, a month ago to finally this reflect January. her official name. I've been married for four years <laughs> and um, we love Corey, but we are Make It By Kitty Hill. Yeah. That is what it is. Some people just have that name where it's like first, and my husband is Mark Powell. Like it just like goes yeah. together. And your Katie Hill just always, I mean, it just is. You've also raised me. Yeah, that's true. Also. <laughs> You've also raised me in the industry. I love You've that. known me since I was, what, 17? Yes. So that makes sense. Um, You and I had a very specific look together when we met. So you were already in beauty school when I started at Tennessee School of Beauty. So you no. were already there. You had started about three weeks weeks before you were still getting your bearings. That's crazy. I think you started that summer and I started that September. Okay. I always thought that you were just like already there. Like I remember. I've just always been there. Bobby. I remember specific <laughs> moments of you like of us like crossing paths in the hall because you were in the phone room. Always. A lot. Um, <laughs> the phone room a lot. So I remember like crossing paths or being like oh hey Katie you. Like hey, Bobby all of that like from the beginning and I love from that the so much. So when did you start? You were 17 when you started beauty school? I started started at 17, quickly turned 18. Okay. So I went to West High School, graduated. Um, I was interested in a ton of different things, but really didn't have like a pulse or a heartbeat for um, exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I had decent grades in school. I knew I had opportunity, but um, just kind of felt directionless. And I think a lot of people, whenever they come into the beauty industry, they've kind of hit that crossroads where they're like, I don't know my next move. Mm -hmm. So um, my family has known Adam Brown forever. Um, he was kind of uh, just somebody that we would see at Fresh Market or kind of in passing. We lived in the same neighborhood. And um, my stepdad actually suggested that we go and take a tour. And at first, I had no clue what to expect. I knew where I got my hair done, that it was exciting. I loved the energy. I always got really excited to get my hair done. And at the time, makeup really wasn't a thing. It was just something that you kind of did in your own bathroom. And so um, the first few steps, my mom went with me to go on a TSB tour. You toured us with Adam, I'm pretty sure. And we fell in love and we signed our paperwork that day. Even though Adam was insistent, like, take a day yeah. or two, come back, I smitten. Yeah. And I have been since. I love that. So you, did you, were you the one doing makeup, like everyone's makeup? Like when did the passion for makeup come to you? So actually at TSB, there was a student who had a rainbow mohawk. And there was one day we had gotten to school early and I was just her little buddy, even though I was like, imagine cowboy boots <laughs> and like preppy meets punk beauty school. It's just kind of, it integrates funny little friendships. And she's still one of my friends today. Um, but I watched her put on her eyebrows. And of course they weren't just like traditional. They were like rainbow. And I was like, just enamored. I could not believe that she created eyebrows. And around that time, I was working at Fusion Tanning <laughs> Studios. And the throwback. Um, we, Katie and I just realized after knowing each other for as long as we've known each other, that we both worked at Fusion Tanning like around the same time, which is really weird. Like I know that I had to have known you. Had to. Or at least I have seen had you to. there, but we both have like PTSD, like hardcore from that. So. Gone, but never forgotten. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Girl bosses go forth. So um, I, I, on a whim, decided to um, apply at Sephora while I was in school. It was kind of my running money. And when I started at Sephora, I knew one brand in the entire store. The entire story. So Wait, I knew what, what was it? benefit. Okay. And I think it's because aunts had given me things for Christmas. And I was like, oh, cool. So I was immediately hired. And because they thought my makeup looked decent in my interview, they thought I knew what I was doing. I did not. <laughs> so they handed me a walkie-talkie, literally pushed me to the front of the store and was like, you've got this. So when people started coming in and asking for these specific things, I was like, yes. 
I know. Yeah. Yeah. That. So do you know uh, where that is in the store? <laughs> and I think that my clients taught me a lot about makeup. Finally got my footing, finally figured out a few things. And I think that's where the passion for makeup really began. Yeah. And so after beauty school, you ended up like jumping into makeup only like, cause you really focused, like you didn't, you didn't ever go and do hair at all. Did you in a salon? Yes. Um, but it was kind like of like a and- God bless the broken road. So, um, Graduating from TSB, it was right around the time of the recession, and my family was hit pretty. Um, we were definitely impacted. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody owns car dealerships and everything, and it was when GM went bankrupt. So that definitely put um, where I where I could have, I couldn't at that point. And my only way for uh, income was through Sephora. So I could not afford to get my license with Tennessee School of Beauty just yet. I couldn't afford my tuition. And being 17, maybe 18 at this point, you know, it was one of those, what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. So I chose to just earn it the old fashioned way. So I took a year at Sephora and um, I worked up and up and up and up and I got better and better and better. And where I thought I was decent at the time, I looked back, I still had no clue what I was doing, but I loved it. And it took me a year and I raised my own tuition. So around that time I came in and um, gave my final check to you and Adam and you all sat me down and you all asked me about if I had ever heard of the Makeup Designer Academy or anything like that. And at the time, I knew every brand, skincare, perfume, cosmetics, whatever you name it, and I'd never heard of MUD. And after that meeting with you all, I definitely researched it Mm because I wanted to know about it. And it's absolutely amazing, but it wasn't local. It was New York and LA, Mm -hmm. and it felt so... um, out of reach yeah that it seemed so big that you and adam wanted to bring that to knoxville tennessee yeah um kind of i worked that year in makeup i went to go to work in a salon absolutely loved it build my client built my clientele but at this point i had been like bit by the makeup bug yeah i loved hair and i feel Mm -hmm. like i was good at it but Around the time um, I got pregnant with my little boy, I had a high-risk pregnancy, Mm -hmm. and doctors were like, "Mm, maybe you should go on bed rest. Mm, Maybe not. Yeah. (laughs) It's not for you. (laughs) No, maybe not for me. (laughs) And while keeping things safe, I knew I couldn't be behind a chair all day, but that's when I kicked off my bridal business Mm -hmm. and it was just makeup exclusive and I could work a full day once a week Mm -hmm. and still feel like I was keeping my body safe. Yeah. And the rest is history. Well, and you blew up so quickly because you really were one of the first people in Knoxville that like really took over the bridal market. Like makeup by Katie Hill was like everyone like we, I mean, obviously I still to this day recommend you for like everything, but you just really blew up. And that was before we even brought you in to be an instructor for MUD. So like you had already built this amazing thing where you were booked out so far in advance and people couldn't even like get in with you, you know, like people were like, I want you and you're like, well, I'm not available. And then you start recommending everyone else. But um, you had just built something so special. And like I said, you really were one of the first that like took this on that did cosmetology that just said like, even though I have my license and doing hair, like I'm gonna go a different route. Now it's a lot more common but back then when you were doing it, it, it just wasn't. Yeah. Um, so I think people think that like, oh, you just kind of like they think that they can take the same path as you. But it's it's just a little bit different now. So we partnered with Makeup Designery. Um, I constantly forget how long it's been um, since we opened that school. I but think eight ish years. Yeah, I think that's around where we're at now. So we um, opened up a makeup school here because makeup ended up becoming a lot more popular. And there were a lot more yes. people that were like, I want to come into this just for makeup. Um, and so we knew that you were going to be a great addition to the team. So you actually got to go to New York City yes. and train um, to become a mud certified makeup instructor which so the mud curriculum is really what drew us to them um product and stuff like aside like the curriculum that they built they made it really easy for us to incorporate it into the program or give people the option to take that so when you went up there and trained you got training literally from them because what they provide is minute by minute um education for the five weeks so day one in knoxville is the same thing as day one in new york and la what was that experience like for you going up to be around educators like of that level of just 
makeup because you taught yourself so much. I did. So like going up and being around that, like what was that like? Well, I'll say I feel like being one of the first makeup exclusive artists, there was a lot of people who were offering makeup in salons. Right. But yeah. essentially they were working out of their own face kits mm -hmm. or they had a caboodle kind of that they would pull from out of the salon. And um, there was a ton of naysayers, not necessarily specifically to me, but people thought that you had to do hair or you had to offer different services to be successful with makeup. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And um, when I went to New York, I knew that, one, I had kind of trained myself and I'd had other artists help train me along Sephora and different things like that. But I knew that this was going to be a lot more specific, a lot more polished. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what I was expecting. When you had described the New York trip, um, I had just turned 20. Nobody was able to take off work. So it was just me in New York by myself. Yeah. So here we go. Um, <laughs> but I believed in this and I wanted it so badly. So I went. And um, so I walked to the Makeup Designery building, went up the elevator, and I was greeted by the front desk. And she was like, absolutely, let me walk you back. Now, you had said that this was going to kind of be like a, a nationwide instructors. And I don't know why I was expecting almost like a symposium oh, or something. Yeah. Um, I think I was expecting a group, like 15, yeah. 20, 30. And I walk into this room, and it is me and one other girl. And we were supposed to be there at eight. Here we are at eight. We're kind of looking around like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So Where she didn't know that she was going to be alone either. I had no clue. <laughs> and wow. had I not had her, I think there would have been like, inter there were internal tears. Yeah. Um, but Marianne, uh, she was lead over the West Coast. Mm -hmm. um, she's top dog and yeah. she's absolutely wonderful. What is Marianne Tocolino? Yes, I think that's like what that. it is, yeah. And um, she walked in with such confidence and belief in the academy and she just took us under her wing and it was a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. And t I think to a lot of people that would have been uh, very intimidating, but I'm honored and I love that. And she taught in a way that really made me um, thrive and get even more excited to be in the classroom yeah she was absolutely amazing i forgot that you like went alone to that and By that myself. you were in new york city alone <laughs> like okay have fun because their location is literally on wall street like it's right downtown so you're like really in the thick of it when in you're there the too it's it. not like on the outskirts like nope. you're downtown it was a knoxville tennessee I girl big eyed um and I wish I had done more, but at the same time... You're just, like, taking it all in, too. I think yeah. that first time, like, you're, like, just getting your bearings and, like, mm -hmm. figuring everything out. I think now we're all getting a little more used to it to be like, okay, we kind of at least know a little bit of yes. what's going on. But you got to go up again, didn't you? You've been I've up twice. No, nope, I've okay. only been up the one time. Okay, I thought you've gone up twice. We just talked about doing a trip yeah. together, like, eight million times, so I thought that that did happen. One day but we'll take we our trip. will, like, when the kids are older and we can just, like, dip for a little bit. Let's go. Like, right here, right now, <laughs> <laughs> They're so great. And I think that the awesome thing about mud is like, I didn't realize what a big deal it was, um, like bringing it to Knoxville. But then as we got more involved with them, we're like, this is insane what we're going to be able to give people. And I think that we take it for granted because like we know what they're providing, all that stuff. But yeah. I think that we're like, okay, we're in little Knoxville, but TSB is actually one of the only standalones. So we operate more of a studio way. So you don't have to be one of our students to take the course. You can right. add this on. So um, we actually just had somebody in our last class, I got certified that had taken cosmetology at a different school and then has come to add this on. So it's only five weeks for Beauty Essentials, Airbrush and Bridal, right. and you are MUD certified. So that certificate comes from New York City. We send your hours in there. So it's not like we just print something off and we're like, hey, you did it. I mean, you're a MUD certified makeup artist. So right. what would you like advise if there is someone out there that's wanting to get education or maybe their beauty school didn't offer it? Um, do you think that this is a good add on? I mean, do you think that this is for anyone? Like, what do you recommend? Absolutely. Now you've got to remember that this is my absolute heartbeat. But this is also how I provide for my family. Mm -hmm. This is our bread and butter. You know, my I and I am fortunate that I am married and mm -hmm. we have that second income. However, I know no matter what would happen, as long as I have my bridal business, that I'm gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Um I it is a blessing and it is a curse, mm -hmm. but more so it is a blessing. I know what I'm doing every Saturday for the next two years. Mm -hmm. Um 
I'm able to bank on that income and I think that if you are remotely interested in makeup that it is absolutely huge it's huge it's impactful you don't necessarily um I don't really know how to perfectly explain it. I think that it really takes just knowing one person and I always wanna be that one person for my students. So they're like, Katie, how do I get my name out there? Well, because I am booked, which is such a good thing, but I have people who come into my inbox and they're like, hey, are you available for XYZ date? Mm -hmm. Chances are I'm not and I need help and I want to send them to dependable people and I'm just one person. So if I can get them on the path with one wedding and then two weddings and then that is the perfect snowball to a successful business. Yeah, um, those you, connections are so important. I think it's most important in this industry to be able to make a friend mm -hmm. and it's not choosing favorites. It's not climbing the ladder like immorally or anything like that. It's about that one connection and somebody believing in you and loving you and really pushing your name out there mm -hmm. um i can really give so much of my credit to like three people yeah. um for my business blossoming the way it has and i could not say enough positive things about them um they've taken care of me and mm -hmm. i want to be able to pay that forward for my students if somebody loves makeup it is not competition it is community mm -hmm. there is room for everybody yeah i love that i know you talk about that a lot with the students in your class so they're with you like i said five weeks and you mm -hmm. guys are in there together and um, if you do level two it's an additional two weeks but they're in there with you and you guys all get very very close so first five weeks of aesthetics but then after that like add-ons for cosmetology and I hear it just all the time from from the aesthetic students mostly because they're taking that you know no matter what but that they end up getting in it and they're like I had no idea that I loved makeup so much is that like your highlight like what is your favorite like moment of teaching like what is the thing that you're like oh that just like lights me up is it people finding that love for it is it like that moment that they finally get it when they've been struggling like what I is it for you that. I do love that um I think one of my so aesthetics it's just a part of their curriculum so I think when we had originally put that as part of the curriculum I was a little bit nervous because mm -hmm. cosmetology students that is something that they sit down they think about if mm -hmm. they want to take it or not but aesthetics they're going to be with me no matter mm -hmm. what and since I have such a passion for it I was nervous that aesthetic students might kind of cat paw it or not enjoy it and I was like oh I really want to keep the energy that is so important to me in the classroom mm -hmm. so whenever you come into to the classroom with me it is such a safe space we call it makeup heaven it is our own <laughs> little bubble it is peaceful it's happy we're able to kind of just slough off life and come in and enjoy our day no matter what and I think as long as the energy is there it really doesn't matter the task at hand and I think when I have a student who is willing to be a good listener is willing to participate which I haven't had any issues in a very long time and I'm mm -hmm. so grateful for these students because they make my job easy yeah they make it fun mm -hmm. um and making sure that we have that open communication that they just feel peaceful inside yeah. the classroom that a lot of people who might have been close-minded to makeup become open-minded because mm -hmm. it's like coming into class as a breath of fresh air they can take they can know that whenever they come to school that it's going to be a good day mm -hmm. and that's what I really try to make sure with my students because if no matter what's going on with me if there's anything crazy going on at my house in my life it's none of the students business mm -hmm. and they deserve somebody who is consistent who's peaceful who's happy they don't want to have to worry about what type of response they're going to get from their instructor and director they need to have peace and knowing that they can come to me and they're going to have a good day yeah and i think that is the um the most important thing to me is mm -hmm. making sure that the students know consistently it's going to be a good day yeah. no matter what for those five weeks no matter what's going on we're going to take a quick break from the podcast to hear a word from our sponsors today's sponsor for this episode is lead lead is the first degree designed with beauty professionals in mind to create future professionals and leaders for this fast-growing industry rolfs has partnered with l'oreal arizona state university and mesa community college and is proud to launch the first ever college and university degree designed specifically with beauty professionals it's time to acknowledge the level of impact beauty professionals have in our lives every year an individual consults with a beauty professional over 48 percent more than a physician 
This is why advancing the accredited education of beauty professionals is our mission. LEAD is shaping the future of beauty by developing the minds and expanding the intellect of beauty professionals who maintain and restore our self-expression and well-being. For more information, visit leadinstitute.degree today. The folks at Access, L'Oreal's online destination for professional education, are ready to kick off the holidays. Because they love cosmetology students so much, they're launching a holiday promotion just for you. It's called Haul for the Holidays, and trust me, it's a haul like no other. And what's even better is that it couldn't be easier to participate. So here's how it works. Starting on November 1st, you will log into L'Oreal Access, complete the Haul for the Holidays learning plan, which has been curated just for students so they can learn about different L'Oreal professional hair care and color brands. And then you'll hop over to L'Oreal's Level Loyalty Reward site and enter to win the Ultimate Stylist Starter Kit. 100 students will win the holiday haul containing prizes like a mannequin head, a carbon comb, tint brushes, mixing bowls, super cute capes and aprons, towels, a ton of full-size L'Oreal products, and so much more. Then 10 lucky winners will get all of that plus enough level points to redeem for a nice set of shears or a Dyson hairdryer. Typically, you have to earn points on level by buying L'Oreal products, but with Haul for the Holidays promotion, you have the chance to get them for free. How insane is that? Students will have just until before the end of November to complete it. So make sure you're signed up for both L'Oreal Access and L'Oreal Level Loyalty Rewards program. More info is on its way, but go ahead and get excited. This is about to be a happy holiday indeed. Now let's get back to the episode. It's always such a good energy to go in there because again, I think especially for the cosmetology students have cho who have chosen to take that, um, it's a great environment no matter what, but I think for them to get like a break from cosmetology for a little bit, to get out of hair for a moment um, and get to get to go into that, um, I think that that's so special and they get so excited about it. Some of these people, like their passion is makeup, but yes. in the state of Tennessee, you have to be a licensed cosmetologist or a licensed esthetician to be able to offer those services. So this isn't like where they can just for five weeks and that's it. I mean, they're doing a lot on top of the five weeks um, to make sure that they are operating legally. Um, and State Board went crazy a few years ago and really went after a lot of people yes. that were operating without a license. Um, sanitation is obviously one of the biggest reasons for that. Like you need to be taught and you need to learn how to make sure that you are properly properly utilizing like the brushes and the tools and all of that stuff. So um, I think obviously that's covered day one. Um, but I think, you know, like I said, a lot of people aren't there just for the makeup part. Now you can add this on, like if you're already licensed, this is open to anyone, you're more than welcome to join our programs and can check out our website and everything like that to get dates. But um, we are so like, I think one of the reasons I wanted to do this episode with you too is I wanted people to see how loving and kind and sweet you are because it is intimidating going to a different school because TSB is such a family. And I do feel like um, it's, you know, a lot of people from that are not a part of that are like, well, can I come into that? Can I be a part of this? And like, Annie's a perfect example. Like she- There is room like, for everyone. Yeah, like you just become one of us. And in that five weeks, like you're part of the TSB family and you get to be, you know, in that environment. And like, it's just different. I can't explain it, but it is just like- such a magical feeling in there. So um, what advice would you give to somebody that's thinking about like coming into the beauty industry in general? Like if there's somebody that's like, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, like what advice do you give them? Or do you talk to brides and stuff about it? Like do you Sometimes. talk about the industry? Um, so recently I actually went to CVS, the Minute Clinic. I had a really awesome sinus infection. It was super <laughs> cool. Um, and my nurse practitioner is like, so what do you do? Cause I made a joke that people are breathing on me all the time. Oh, yeah. So I have this big class and it's 30 people, new germs. Yeah. So I got a head cold and she was like, wait, what? They offer that? There's a school for that? Oh my gosh. She got my card. She's like, is this unprofessional of me? I was like, no. <laughs> and she has actually reached out. She is interested in tutorials. If I could teach her how to do her own makeup.
up. She's interested. Um, she has a teenage daughter who is about to graduate, who is so passionate about the beauty industry. Aww. For anybody who's interested in it, I think that life is so short. And I know that's kind of cliche. We say that all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel definitely adamant about it with um, my health scares over the last year. Yeah. And, you know, you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. Enjoy what you do. And even if you were to stay at your consistent nine to five job, this is something that you could add on mm -hmm. and add. It just breathes life into your life. Mm -hmm. um, I typically work around eight to two every Saturday at two o'clock. I'm pretty much done. I'm mm -hmm. headed home. I'm going to see my husband. I'm going to see my babies. And I have my pockets full for a week where I could buy whatever I wanted to at the mm -hmm. grocery store. I can buy my babies whatever they want at Target. Not in a spoiled way, but I can afford the things that a lot of times I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. And if somebody had passion for this, obviously I have passion for it. But imagine, you know, just breaking out of your usual and getting to get excited over something. I think life only gives you so many milestones mm -hmm. that are kind of magical and sweet. Mm -hmm. And... Even if they chose not to do this full-time, if this is part-time, it's still life-changing. Yeah. It's such a good energy. I love what I do. I love who I work with. I love the consistent inconsistency. Mm -hmm. I never know who I'm going to see. I never know where I'm going to go. It's enjoyable. Yeah. Like I love what I do. And I hear so many times that people are miserable with what they're doing. I want them to have a vibrant, happy life. That's also lucrative. Yeah, absolutely. This is also an industry too where you get to be part of people's most important days. Um, yeah. You're there on their wedding days. You're there through so much with them. I mean, I know that you don't do this as much as you used to. I know you would love to. You just don't like have time to do it. But even like getting people ready for proms, family pictures, like mm -hmm. all of those moments. Your makeup artist, like we joke and say that like when you know in the '80s, like when I was growing up, like my mom didn't get her hair and makeup done no. before she went for photo shoots. And now I'm like, I'm not getting in front of a camera without hair and makeup done and so the industry has obviously changed a ton Absolutely. but I know that that's a really positive for you it's like I know that like you're never going to give that up because I do think like even though it is a job and it provides income I think that you're so important like you did my sister-in-law's makeup on her wedding day <laughs> like I know how much like you give to those brides um and I don't think that that's necessarily something that you can teach I think it's something that's in you that you're like connected to them and you make them feel so beautiful, so important, Thank you. so special. Um, and I think that that is something too, that if you have that in your heart and you want to help people, like you get to do it through makeup. I think people are sometimes think that makeup is such like a vain thing, but I'm like, it's not it's, superficial yeah, like, oh at goodness. all. You're like exactly it's so right. real. Um, I love people. I know what it has felt like to be excluded from a group. I know how intimidating a group of women can feel. I know all the negatives that life can throw at you. I have felt them personally, and it is my job. It is in my heart. If you want to call it customer service, if you want to call it just love, whatever, whoever I'm with, they are my new best friend, and it is sincere, Aww. and it is genuine, and I love them, and I want them to feel like a million bucks. So I'm normally the last conversation that they're going to have before putting on their dress dress and walking down the aisle, it can be interchangeable yeah. with hair, but I'm important. Mm -hmm. And if I remember that I'm important and I treat people like they're important, and I think that's what people seek out of life. They want to feel valuable. They want to feel heard. They want to feel celebrated. Um, and on my wedding day, I, you know, I had a smaller wedding day, but I really still wanted that bridal um, experience. Yeah. And people were talking to me like I was just a normal Katie, <laughs> and I was not. And I wish I had had a me on my wedding day, and I want to extend that. And that's part of my service mm -hmm. is um, if you ever look at my reviews, it's always how I made them feel and then how they looked. And the makeup is important. Yes. You can't play <laughs> with somebody's makeup. But yeah. um I want people to know that they're important Yeah, and they are so loved and they're mm -hmm. so celebrated and they're absolutely beautiful. And anything that I can just uplift them with, like you have the most beautiful eyes. 
They're so big, so honey. You have perfect amount of green and blue. Like you need to know that because yeah. who else is going to tell you that? Right. That's exactly. my job. <laughs> and I love it because you give that to the students as well. Yes. Like you had it in so much of like these personal touches, I think that are like, okay. And then also, and I think what's really cool is when you like this weekend or on Tuesday, when you go back into the classroom, you're going to be like, okay, you guys, let's do a quick recap. So this weekend I had this wedding, this thing happened to me and this is how I handled it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not every time, like sometimes I'm sure you're just like, oh, it was a great wedding, like whatever. But you share that with them. And I think that that sends them out into the world so much more prepared um, just to know how these, you had to figure all of that out on your own. Yes. And to be able to just be like, and here's what I've learned, I think is so valuable. I wish I had had a me, mm -hmm. um, somebody that I could have turned to, vented, asked questions. But the more I've done it, the more my the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm -hmm. And the wonderful thing is 99.999% of my clients are so sweet. They're so fun. I enjoy getting to work with them, but occasionally they'll have a aunt or a bridesmaid or someone along those lines. And I want to make sure that my students are prepared. Um, I think a lot of professionals uh, keep their secrets, their tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. What is the point of me calling myself an instructor if I keep something from my students? Mm -hmm. um, because if they don't succeed, I don't succeed. And if my students are going out into the world and they're not able to get booked, if they're not able to have these wonderful reviews, if they can't find success, that's a problem with my teaching. And I am an open book. I am totally transparent. That is the least I could do. Mm -hmm. So anything that I can teach them um, emotionally, physically, um, technique wise, anything, that's what I'm here for. And not even just when they're in class. I know so many of them follow up with you. You stay close with your students. So I feel like you're that resource for them yes. forever. I know you talk to them a lot, even after they've graduated, because you have to think too, they're going back to cosmetology after you or they're going on to a full aesthetics program. Like, they have all of time before they're going to start their right. career. So when that takes off, I know that they reach out a lot. And I think, again, it's just so special. So I'm so grateful to have you. I can't even imagine doing all of this without you. I say all the time, but you've gotten me through so much. And just like having you next door, like we've grown up together. We, and we like literally have this, like now when we are talking about and stuff, like you're my number one cheerleader there. Like you're always so positive about like what I have going on too. You deserve so I think to be it's celebrated. so special. And I'm just so thankful to have you. I'm so, so thankful. Thank for you. you for sharing today. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure that you follow Katie at Makeup by Katie Hill on Instagram. We will put the um, her all of her information down below in the description. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure that you ring that bell um, to get, be notified when all of our new episodes are coming out. Follow us on Beauty and Style Network on Instagram. Follow me at Beauty School Bobby. And again, this episode is presented by L'Oreal Lead and Access. So thank you guys so much. And we will see you next time. Bye.